Ian and Steph, tell me, what is it like to win the Central District's Red Meat Farm Business of the Year contest? Oh well, it's very humbling. It's it's uh, yeah, given the uh, given there was a, 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 a fair few pretty good candidates out there, but uh, oh look, it's 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 great to great to contribute to a, a positive positive story about the red meat industry. Um, yeah, free range grass fed meat. We need to we need to put our hands up a bit more, create a bit of positivity. So look, we 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 we're, we're thrilled to be involved, aren't we? Yep. Absolutely, and mm. only only one because we've got a great team behind us, and um, really appreciate everything that everyone does around us. Absolutely. Cool. You just mentioned the word team, and the, and the next question might be based around that as well. What do you think makes your business? What do you think makes your businesses? What do you think makes your business successful? Uh, yeah. Well, obviously, you can't do it. I suppose the first thing is you can't do it yourself. Farming's a um, farming's a business that takes a wide range of wide range of skills. Um, you know whether it's practical ones or, or, or strategy and and all the rest. You know you you've, you've actually got you've actually got to learn take advice from people. Um, a lot of a lot of farmers trying to do everything themselves. The advice is all out there. The expertise is all out there. It's just a matter of going out and finding it, um, learning from it, getting the right people around you. Um, yeah, so, so it's about surrounding yourself with the right people because, yeah, end of the day, um, you know, we've only got, uh, we've only got, uh, well, there's you and me and, and, and Dan, and uh, yeah, without the without all the support, we couldn't do it, could we? No. Mm. It's also looking at your environment and trying to fit, you know, your farming system into your environment rather than just going holus bolus, this is what we do. Um, yeah, mm. you're really good at that. Yeah, so, so obviously you, you can't, you can't manage what you can't measure. So you, you've got to know, you've got to know what your, um, what everything grows at certain times of the year, what crops yield, what different animals, what different classes grow, what yields you get at certain times of the year, and, and then um, make a plan that suits you, you, your management and the resources around you, you know, your climate, your soils. Um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's really important. Make a plan that fits you. You know, you don't have to put yourself under pressure to, to to, to operate, so yeah, so those those are, those are some pretty key things, I think, aren't they? Yeah. 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 Cool. Now, um, we're, we're planning a field day, depending on what will happen around COVID dates and levels, but really looking forward to that. But what do you think farmers will learn from attending a field day within your farm business later in the year? Yeah, I suppose they'll, yeah, going going on from the last question, I, I suppose they'll get a bit of a feel for, for a plan. I, I suppose we, we've, been, we've been no tillage for quite a few years now. And you've got to plan quite a lot, long way forward and get your preparation right. And in part of that, you've got to you've got to have a bit of a work out what you're doing a long time beforehand and work out what's what suits you and what's best and what's gonna what's gonna do the best for you. So, yeah, I, th I think the main the main takeaway from our day is that um, every farm's unique. Um, there'll be a, there'll be a recipe we're doing at the time, but that constantly changes. I, I, I think you've got to have a look at look at your own situation, look at the plan you're doing, look at, look at the plan we're currently on at the moment and, and take it away to your, to your own farm perhaps and, um, and, and apply the same principles because every farm, even if it's just down the road, is different to the farm just up the road. So yeah, every farm's unique and I think there's a, there's a plan which constantly changes for, for everyone really, yeah. yeah. I think also, um, you know, to look at, you know, you can be profitable plus look after the environment as well. It's really important for us to be able to balance both of those things up. Yeah, so the, the first part of sustainability is economic sustainability. So if you can afford to do that extra fencing, plant those trees, do those water tests, yeah, you know, that's, uh, and that adds to the story for our social licence to farm as well. So, you know, yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Thanks very much. I guess as a final congratulations, well done for winning the, the 2022 Central District's Red Meat Farm Business of the Year contest. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks Gary. Gary. Cheers.